Today, we're putting a trunnion kit in my rockers, brought to you by Brian Pooley, friggin' right here. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. I'm gonna put this kit for Brian Tooley into my rocker arms. Now there's a bunch of kits you can buy, but this is a kit I'm freaking using, and it's not too bad, eh? You can buy tools to press, or you can get it pressed, but I have a vise, and I think I can do it with a vise, no problem. If you're not 100% sure of yourself, get the tool, or get a press. But I'm gonna do use a vise. So what I'd look for is a socket that's, you know, the same round as that. It just kind of sits on it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the center of this one through. Now you can push the whole thing through, but I'm just gonna push the center through. I'll be a little bit more time consuming this way because that's the way I like to do things it is. I'll put the vise open like so, and I'll make sure this lines up like so. And I'll open this up more like so. Because can you see me? Hopefully you can see. And uh, I'll move the camera on the next one, but. I'm gonna put the other socket on here. I'm gonna snug her up, and I should be able to just push her right through, Jim. Now it does take a little bit of pushing, so don't be afraid to push her kind of hard. But there you go, that's all there is to it. So I push that one out. Now, if I remove that, there's the old trunnion and uh, all the little pins that normally go through your engine. So we'll get rid of that garbage. So now what I get left over is just the old one on the other side. So how I get rid of that is I just put another size socket in there. Now I did do one of these off camera if you're wondering how come I'm doing it so quickly. Just put a different size socket in, walk her through, boom, bob your uncle, out it comes. There you go. So there's the other ring. So now she's empty. So now what we want to do is we want to clean it out like so. And what I'll do is I'll put one in like this to, as I'm explaining it and then I'll show you in detail. So then you want to take a bearing and you want to make sure the writing's out. You want to put it on the end like so and put it in the vise. Now it would be nice if you had a vise with a flat surface but as long as you have a vise that's not too rough it should be okay. So we just bring her in like so nice and gently, easy and carefully. Make sure she's squared up, which it will square itself up and push her in just until it bottoms out. Boom. Just like that. So it's bottomed out just across these two breaches, and that's all there is to it. I leave the plastic in the middle until I push in another piece, which is this piece. So this piece is going to go in, flat faces up, and I just put it into where the plastic is. Now as I push it, it pushes the plastic out and the bearings stay in. There you go. I don't want to take any risks or chances of the bearings falling out. So now there's two washers that come with the kit. You put one on that side, you get another bearing. Make sure the, uh, the writing is out. Take a look at it, writing out. And then you slide it on with the plastic and it just kind of slides over. I leave the plastic in for a minute. And the reason why I do that is because I get it started because it holds the washer kind of in the center of the bearing. And that way you can get it just started. So take your thing like this, put it in the vise with the two washers on each side. And don't drop it like that, because that's no good. So you put your bearing in like this, Hold on to her real good so it doesn't fall. Tighten her stuck her up and give her a squeeze. And now it will just start to go in and you stop because you're gonna have that plastic piece kind of go crush crush. So now that you have it started, you can put this back in without it and you can't see fuck all from over there probably. And you just finish going the rest of the way. Just until it stops. Boom. So there you go. That's all there is to put the kit in. So now after you've done that part, you take your snap-on tool here with a collapsible ringage. So you put one ring on one side, other ring on another side, add a little bit of grease or oil like I like to do on everything I do. And there we go. She's done. Now it should have a little bit of play side to side and that's about it. That's friggin' decent. It comes with new bolts too. There you go. So there's one. So now I do another one on a close-up. Oh, uh, pardon me. Socket. Open vise. It's really hard to show you this because my hands are going to be in the way. Here, let me see if I can move my hand. Push through. There we go. Take the washer out. Drop everything on the ground there. Other socket. Now, I know I'm taking one extra step here, but that's okay because I don't care. I'm not in a rush. Like I said, you can push them both out at the same time, but I'd rather do it this way. That way, make sure everything comes out right. Because how long does that take? Not long at all. Clean that out. Bearing. Let her out. Crank her in. Let her in faces out, slide her into the vise, give her a squeeze. Boom. Done. Take a neck, slide her through, like that. Washer, bearing, lettering it out, slide over. Washer over the plastic, to help center it, get her started, let her release. Take the plastic out of the washer, put this back on, 
push her on the rest of the way. Now it's gonna stop because I don't have a washer. Where'd my washer go? See, I'm getting cocked over right now. Hold on, Jim. My hands are all full of fucking grease. All right, here we go. Something's happening. Maybe. Sometimes it's just all in the way you hold your tongue. It is. There it goes. Boom. There we go. Ring. Ring. If you're ever not sure if this ring went on, just grab a hold of it like so and give her a turn. It's definitely in. Oh, there you go. See? I gave her a turn and it snapped in. So if you're not sure, just do that. And Bobby's freaking uncle. Let's check this one because I didn't check these ones. That one's good. That one's good. We're going to check the ones we did because we did a few off camera, of course, because you can't watch a hundred of these things going. It will drive you fucking bonkers. Oh man, these are mint. So if you think you need a press for this job, you're absolutely wrong. And if you think you need to buy the tool for this, you're absolutely wrong. Sure, it might be the 100% right way to do it, but as you can see right now, I'm not having any problems doing it this way. So if you're like me and you think you can figure it out without having all the fancy good tools, then have at her and see, look, I'm glad I checked that one because that one's not in. Holy. I think we have a bad one. Look at the twist that thing's getting. Oh, friggin' right we do. Let's get a new one in there. I'm sure they give me an extra. I hope so. I was told there's a couple extras in the kit, so let's hope to God that we have a couple extras. Captain. Good? Good. So actually, make sure you do that with these after you're done them all. Double check the rings. I would suggest that 100% after seeing what I just seen. Let's do one more together just to make sure we don't know what we're doing because we don't. Oh, just so you know, I have one more farming video coming up. Just because I had someone call me today and say, hey, we're taking some corn out the field after lunch. Can you bring your drone over? I was like, yes, I can. So there'll be one more. Hopefully you enjoy it. But it's a real good one. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed even editing this one. Pretty sure right, I did. Out she goes. Other socket. Push her out. There we go. Wipe her off. Bearing. Writing out. Fit it. Squeeze it. Boom. Hey, boom. Slide it. Washer it, writing out, washer it, get her started, take out the plastic, put her back down, give her some tightening upage, just a little snuggage, and uh, take her home, Jim. Oh, she can't go home yet, hold on. We're not quite lined up, I can tell. If you feel any kind of resistance, stop. Cause you gotta make sure you're right on the center of that sock. There it goes. I made that one look easy. Friggin' right it did. You slide that on there. What do you want? Oh, just working on the engine. Oh, that's great, huh? Can you stop by for a few? Where are you? Yeah, I don't care, whatever, sure. Double, double. Okay. I'll, I'll give you the money when you get here. Okay. All right. And there you go, there's another one done. Friggin' decent, babe. You should see me going on this thing. It's almost like I knew what I was doing or something. Do you believe me? Oh, yeah. You gonna paint those things? No, you don't paint them. Oh. They're rock arms. I'm changing this part in them right here because they, they fall apart and the stuff goes through the engine. So this kit has pins and locks and stuff. Uh -huh. See, look at the differences. No, see this is different than this, see? Oh, my. Like, this is a new one, that's the old one. Oh. This pin stopped the bearings from falling out. You know, performance stuff, hey? Eh? Well, come here for a minute, work the vise. Come here. Give me an extra hand here. Open the vise, open the vise. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hey, Rick. Just go. Okay, stop. Come in. The other way. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. What were you going to show me? Ask if you like my boots I bought. Oh, yeah. Winner. Nice. I actually bought myself something for once. Why wouldn't you? So I hope that helps you if you're doing a uh, one of these Brian Tooley uh, trungeon kits. But uh, that's how I do them. And it wor it's working pretty good. It is. Friggin' right it is. Eh? Decent. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button if I made this simple for you. Let me know in the comments below if I made it look simple for you. Show you how you can do it without spending more money. But that's how I do it. Hopefully you enjoy it. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm going to carry on with these other ones here. Get them done. And then I'll show you the finished product later on. I will. Friggin' right I will. But love you all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.